guys, so today's video is going to be a video that I actually have never done a topic on and it is my eyebrows. And a lot of you know that I was not always so into eyebrows or maintaining my brows just because for the longest time I thought that I didn't need to. I thought that it was just something people did and it was an extra step and it wasn't something that was necessary for me but boy was I wrong as I started filling in my eyebrows and actually taking care of my eyebrows I noticed a huge step and on a a huge step, a huge difference in not only the way I look, but the way, well, yeah, basically like the way my face looked. If I don't have eyebrows and lip liner, I feel completely naked. Like forget about everything else. If I have my eyebrows and lips on, I feel completely confident. So uh, you guys know that I didn't have like the shape of eyebrows I have now for a really long time. I used to have more circular eyebrows, not as like bold. I don't have the thickest eyebrows. I don't have the thickest hair in general. So I kind of use these tips to grow the eyebrow shape I wanted and maintain the eyebrow shape I wanted. So I'm going to kind of give you my favorite products as well as a step-by-step -step on how I grew my eyebrows. So I actually have to credit a fellow Montrealer, Hilary Davison. She was the one who suggested that I do this for my eyebrows. And what she said is fill them in the way you want your eyebrows to look and then pluck the extra stray hairs to like the shape you wanted. So. You guys know I love Jessie James Decker and she has like really square brows and I just feel like I kind of have, I don't know, I just feel like I have a face that can like handle the stronger brows and I personally really like like square brow shapes and at first I was just using like this Revlon thing my sister had but I wanted something a little bit more my color and something that I could use like in the long run. So I went to Sephora and I purchased the Anastasia, oh the thing run off, uh, rubbed off, but I think it's not dip brow, maybe it's dip brow, I'm not sure, but it's basically an eyebrow pencil with a really thin tip at the end, which I like, especially if you're drawing your eyebrow shape, it's very, very helpful, and an amazing spoolie, and this spoolie is amazing compared to um, spoolies that I find you can buy, They're, it's so tiny, and the bristles are so finely packed that it really feels like it's grabbing every individual eyebrow hair. And I find that like other spoolies just don't do as good of a job. So like even when I'm done this, I'll still keep it just to have like an extra spoolie. So that's what I basically used for the longest time. But then once I kind of had my shape of my eyebrow, I didn't need to use a pencil as much. So I decided to start using a powder. And um, this is the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Duo Powder. It's actually my sister's, I bought it for her for Christmas, and it's just like two powders. But what I recently got is the Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go. And it comes with like two different shades and a wax, which is really helpful to kind of keep your brows in place because I think that keeping your brows in place is definitely something that I am like concerned about when I go to school. I always check my brows to make sure that they're still on. I have a MAC brush that I like to use just because I like it because it's really really thin this is the MAC 266 it's really really thin basically my whole spiel on that was that in order to grow and shape my brows to the way I wanted which a lot of you guys have been asking how I did how I changed my eyebrow shape is I filled them in how I wanted and then plucked around and after a while like you kind of have the shape if you do your brows the same way every day which I do so I don't have my brows on and I feel naked so I'm going to just kind of show you guys step by step on how I do my brows. Okay, so just full frontal, you can, I'm looking in to see. I feel like everyone has a better brow, just like everyone has a better eyelash. Um, and this is definitely my better brow. I like it a lot more. Um, this one is definitely less full, so I have to do a little bit more work on that. Um, but you know, it'll grow. As you can see, the shape has kind of, start, kind of started to take form. I do have thinner eyebrows, so it's not like a perfect square, but it's very easy to fill in, especially at this point. So the first thing I like to do, oh, the wrong side is with my spoolie, just take it and then brush the brows upward and down. And that just kind of makes your eyebrows look fuller from the start. This is not a new technique, I feel like everyone does this, but it really does make a difference. So just up and then a little bit down. And then I take my eyebrow pencil and like I said before, it's really, really small and the tip is really, really small so that's why I really like it. And then, okay, I'll try and do it like facing you, but I'm looking down in the mirror. So the first thing I like to do, okay, I normally do this one first. So I just line at the bottom to kind of give the bottom some extra oomph, I guess. And then I take the pencil and like put it kind of at the 
bridge of my nose in a way just to kind of give me a guideline on where I want my brow to end. And then using small strokes, I start filling it in. And then I just fill in the tail a little bit. And then I like to do the other side at the same time. It looks weird on camera, but I swear it doesn't look weird in person. Um, and since this eyebrow ends closer, like further away from the bridge of my nose, I just take it again and draw kind of a straight line. But I know it looks harsh, but then once you blend it, it's all okay. So that's like the first step. And then I brush it out. And this spoolie is really amazing because as you're brushing it out, I feel like since it's like almost like a brush, it blends everything out. I'm taking the Brow Bar To Go by Whitening Lightning and I'm just going to kind of do a mixture of the, both of the colors. And then after I take a mix of the two colors, I just brush it through, kind of filling in any areas that I feel like need to be filled in. And then since it is the end of the eyebrow process and I don't necessarily want to blend everything, I just take my MAC spoolie and brush it all through. And then you are done with your eyebrows. And I feel like I look a lot different. I'll try and like insert a before and after, but I definitely feel much more put together um, now than when I don't have my eyebrows, as stupid as that sounds. So after I finish my eyebrows, if I know I need to, um, if I need to tweeze or anything, which if you go in a car and you look in the like the what's that called the the mirror and it really points out every single eyebrow so if you are concerned about your eyebrows go into the car and look at it yourself in the mirror because you'll see stuff that you missed in your mirror so I'll just take my tweezers these are just tweezer men stainless tweezers and I just go ahead and, and tweeze any unwanted hairs just to make sure I don't have like a little bush growing different brows work for different people like everyone's face is different so this is just what works for me but if you wanted a circular shape you could do the same method it's all about using the method the way that works best for your face another thing I just want to tell you is that the reason why I want my brows so close like at distance together is because the closer your brows are together I mean you don't want to have a unibrow but the closer your brows are like to the bridge of your nose uh, the thinner your nose will look without contouring. So I kind of feel like this video was a little bit of a mess, but I hope you guys learned uh, something at least. I'm not like super perfect about my eyebrows. So with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if you learned anything from this video and let me know what your favorite brow product products are. Everything that I talked about in this video will be listed in the down bar. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.